<laughs> By the way, who uses the word dong? You know, like yeah. uh, want me to make your dong cry? Yeah, well, I want me to make your banana cry. <laughs> That's like a whole thing. With English as a second language, sexy talk. That they're they using just banana don't cry. Know. And then she's well. She, in long story, she, she started commanding me to look at her beaver. Was it hot or was it gross? She was calling it beaver. And look it at was my just Weber. look at my Weber, and it was disgusting. Saying Weber, it was it shaved at least? Weber, it looked. Was it shaved? It was shaved, but I wish but was there exploding. was some hair to cover it up uh, because it's not the best. Are you Weber. are you shaved right? You shaved right in Slovenia? You must be shaved. Yeah, no, they're hairless over there. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? You have no hair. I'm shaved. You could you grow uh, if you wanted to grow a landing strip? You could grow one. Of course. Oh, okay. I, I do know. what I want. Yeah, do whatever you want. That's what she wants. Liberated nobody, woman. Nobody tells her how to shave her vagina. <laughs> no, that's my business. That's, that's, that's your right. business. And so right now you are shaved off completely. Maybe. Not a hair there at all. <laughs> this is normal. She's America. shy, I'm telling you, this is normal right. conversation in America. This is what you talk about. Uh, you go to Starbucks, everyone's talking about how they're shaved. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Not in Denmark. I'm very private about my oh, stuff. Well, welcome to America. <laughs> this is what it's all about. People got to talk about it. Yeah. Al, Al's going to talk about this on stage tomorrow. In front of I actually have a, a driver's license that has an organ donor thing, and then it has a picture of my current pre-ube state. <laughs> <laughs> Just so they know? Just so everyone knows. It's the, like, that's for identification what purposes? Yeah. Or? Identify the body? Yeah, it's like you, teeth. You've been, uh, you're huge in America, of course, but you've also been traveling. You're, you've been, you were in London recently? Yeah, I just went to, I uh, was on the road with Janine Garofalo, and that was fun. I went to oh, Dublin, cool. uh, went out for the uh, big 250 year anniversary uh, party for Guinness at Guinness. I went oh, to the yeah. Guinness store and saw him. We were there, and uh, Tom Jones come out to come down. It's amazing. Really? Yeah, and then he, uh, we were in the front row, and everybody was like uh, texting me. I was texting people, and they're like, he has a huge dong. We're using the word dong again. Tom uh, Jones? Tom Jones. Who's well, Tom Jones? You know, well, Andrew, he's a Vegas uh, legend. I mean, he's not unusual to be loved. Oh, okay. Uh, Tom right. Jones. Not I unusual. Think... Yeah, the guy with Vegas with a huge penis, apparently. Okay. Huge, huge penis. <laughs> huge dong. Huge dong. Yeah. There he is. This so is he Tom comes Jones. right out. Boom. Guinness, 250-year anniversary. Guinness had beer everywhere. We're wasted in the front row. And then I start getting these dong messages, and here comes seven-year-old Tom Jones. And uh, visibly, and it can't be like uh, Uh he's not packing a sock, but... Seven year old huge dong. You could see it through his pants? Yeah, totally. No. Was it like over to the one of the sides of the scene? He's doing the thrust. You know, it's, it's not. Just by good. dancing on stage, you could see his I'm junk moving around like that. That's common knowledge. Yeah. Of course go it's ahead. common. I've heard it before. You have? You can even enter the word dong in. Tom <laughs> Jones. It'll come up. You'll have two tickets to a, to a Tom Jones show. Horse hey. Hung Hollywood. Tom Jones. There you go. Big penis list. Tom Jones has a big one. It's amazing that Andrea's homepage is set to Horse Hung Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. That's what I find that weird. That came up so quickly. Yeah, I was surprised. Uh, Tom was Jones is a, is a name <laughs> if, for a penis if it's huge. Top 10 famous penises. Tom Jones. Wow, there you wow. go. And you right saw there. it You saw it right there just through right, the pants. Too close. Does yeah. that matter? I, I, and this may be too personal. You can tell me if I'm getting intimate. But uh, does a uh, big penis important for you with a man? Do you, does that matter at all? Just a little. A little, a little, a little big penis. Been like tiny, tiny. <laughs> can't be like uh, like a pinky finger. No. That... How? What's the smallest you've ever seen? In person. Uh, it was actually very small. One guy I dated once. <laughs> I was like, "What is that?" You said, "What is that?" What no, is that? I, I was that's thinking a, that I wouldn't be. His, I didn't uh, want to be mean, but I was, was like, "Is it up yet?" <laughs> that's good for his confidence. <laughs> How big? What? Like the size of my thumb? <laughs> it's not gonna make a banana cry. Maybe it's gonna make a grown man like, cry. Yeah. What? A little bigger than the size of my thumb. It's more of like a plantain. Really? And you, you serviced that or you said no, no, thank you? That was fully erect. It was I the had size to. I dated a... him. I couldn't. You dated him? Yeah, oh, we were just, Lord. we had dated for a while. We didn't, hadn't done anything yet. And I'm like, I couldn't say, Did oh, he no, have... you have a small dick. Get away. Yeah. <laughs> right. But he, had, he was a great guy. Yeah, to some point. Oh, uh, what happened there, huh? Yeah, he. Will, I I don't understand how he could, but he was with other girls, <laughs> with other women. Yeah. You know what though? I have a couple friends that have smaller wieners than this thumb I'm holding up, and my girlfriends who have all slept with these guys say that he's like the most incredible lover ever. They've got to be. You have to be. He you rocks. Gotta it. Make it well, up my in the wasn't. Right. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Did he put a strap on on before he had sex with you? Or no. no? <laughs> That'd be strange, a guy, to do that. Yeah. I would be uncomfortable. Wait, I'm just gonna get my dick. <laughs> yeah. Hold oh, on a second. Look. Excuse me. I left my dick. It's in the trunk. <laughs> we actually we sell those at Shop Erotic, the strap on harnesses. For, for, for men. So a guy can put his small dick inside of a bigger dick oh, to pleasure Lord. her. That is that's not gonna be good for, that's not good for self esteem. Nope. 
Yeah, but I mean, still at the same time, like, why not? Who cares? Why not strap on a yeah, humongous dick if that's what if that's uh, what the lady wants? If, yeah. So know? that's what we learned about our Slovenian playmate. She likes big penises. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> no, you... she just doesn't want a micro penis. And and uh, and tell me this: uh, did, did, Have you heard of Al Madrigal in Slovenia? Is he a big name, a I'm household big, not, name? I'm no Pablo Francisco. No. Have, no. have you heard never. of Pablo Francisco? Yeah. Oh. Everybody knows <laughs> no, who Pablo no. Francisco is. He's, he's huge. We should start booking him on the show then. Yeah. <laughs> Next time Al's supposed to come and let's get Pablo instead. Okay. Yeah. You two are going to have a moment right now. It, it, you could be whatever you want, but the goal is that when you bring this girl back, she's going to take the stage for the first time in the Playboy Morning Show Theater, oh, no. <laughs> and she's going to get to do stand-up comedy. She's never done it before. Okay. You, of course, have traveled around the world with li- the likes of Dave Chappelle. Uh, you know, you've you've done a lot of stand-up comedy. You've done stand-up comedy for, uh, what, I want to say 25 years. I'm doing it this weekend in Los Angeles. Well, yeah, we should yeah. mention you will be uh, this weekend at... The at- the world Laugh famous, Factory. World famous Laugh Factory. And then nice. uh, already tickets available for your New Year's Eve show, which is going to be in San Francisco at Cobbs. Yeah. 8 with uh, Craig Robinson from... Uh, oh, yeah, he's very a cool. Guy. Yeah. Craig Robinson from The Office. Yeah. He's a good guy. Left us a very important... Do we have the Craig Robinson in a PSA? Craig Robinson you know, recently got arrested for something that happened. He had uh, some drugs in his vehicle. I think yeah, there's always drugs in his vehicle. So if you're <laughs> a police officer or anybody should, driving around just and you see Craig Robinson, all you, do, Craig Robinson, all you do is stop. He's a good guy. And he's he, funny. He shared with us uh, some very... Very important information about what not to do. Hi, I'm Craig Robinson. You might know me from such fairs, Zach and me make a porno, or Darren from The Office, or recently TMZ. Well, let me tell you something. TMZ wasn't all fun and games, even though my IMDb page went up 300 <laughs> percent i'm just here to warn you about the dangers of driving around stupidly with drugs in your car it's not it's not smart take it from me craig robinson and take your panties off wow very important li- life lesson we heard there from Moving. craig robinson yeah. Moving really makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah. The two of you are going to get some moments uh, together, and uh, and are you have a currently you have a boyfriend or no? No. Okay. So oh, what, good. Whatever so you good. want, whatever goes down in the uh, in the rape room is up to you guys. I don't know why we keep calling it that. <laughs> whatever. No, I'm just that will not happen. That's Al, not Al, the rape room. Al's happily married. <laughs> the rape room is the other side of the hall. You two are going to get some time now to uh, have. How moment. much time are you looking for her to do? Uh, ten minutes. You know, she's got to do. Uh, I'd say anywhere from three to five minutes of quality stand-up, All right, which okay. you know could take One you... One to three minutes. How long does it take? A, I mean, it could take you years to craft a good five minutes, right? Sure, yeah. A lot of people spend a lot of time on so, that. What you I could just do, hope you're good at crowd work. Are you good? <laughs> Andrew and I are your crowd. So I'm get, an easy crowd. So get ready. Uh, Syra, please <laughs> escort them uh, to where they'll be going to work on the comedy routine, and then we'll be meeting you again, and you will not just be a Slovenian playmate. You will be our featured comedian of the day. Let's do it. All right, there All they right, go. Off All they are. To find out if Al Madrigal can make a bunny funny on the Playboy Morning Show. Nice. Sexy women are good looking, but some, uh, look at that ass on Al Madrigal. I know. No, on Oh, yeah, look Barbara. at her ass. Really nice, too. Really, really great ass.